Today, let's look at the order of accuracy analysis of the different schemes that we have implemented. So these are the formulas that I'll be using for the order of accuracy study. And this formula here is the, is the formula which I'm going to use for calculating the order. So here in this formula, uh, it is the ratio of the difference in error to the difference in mesh size. And this can also be thought of as the uh, slope of a change in error to the change in mesh size on a log log plot. And we will see later that I'll actually plot this on a log log plot and see that the slope actually corresponds to the order of the scheme. So we will start with this particular function, this initialization function and uh, you can see that this is the solution of this uh, initialization so it just translates along the 1 1 direction and uh, here are the results of the order of accuracy analysis with uh, with different errors that is the first norm second norm and the infinite norm the first order scheme produces uh, an order of almost one as the mesh keeps refining and that is expected for a refined mesh we should start tending to the expected order of accuracy the beam and warming which is a second order scheme uh, gives a order of 2 as expected for l1 norm and the l2 and l infinity norm are tending towards 2 as well the lex van der which is also a second order scheme also produces very similar results we get uh, an order of 2 for L1 order and the L2 and L infinite order are tending towards 2 as well. The STWLS scheme which is again a second order scheme also produces very similar results. The fifth order WNO scheme uh, since it's fifth order we are expecting to get an order of accuracy of 5 and we do get an order of accuracy of 5 as expected. So here are the plots uh, which is the error versus the size of the mesh drawn on a log log plot and we see that the first order scheme has got a lower slope compared to the slope of the second order schemes in fact all these three second order schemes almost overlap each other the fifth order WNO scheme has got the highest slope of 5 here the slopes do not look like 1, 2 or 5 because it is stretched in the x direction so that's why they don't look but if you do not uh, if you do not scale it in a particular direction then these slopes should actually be 1, 2 and 5 so this should be basically a 45 degree line so it is not here because it is stretched in this particular direction now the second function that I have used for initialization is uh, this uh, function which is a slightly complicated function compared to the previous one and here is the solution uh, obtained for this particular uh, function so this is how it evolves. The first order scheme again produces an order of almost 1 as expected. The second order schemes beam and warming, lex van der and stwls all produce very similar results like the ones we have seen earlier. The WNO scheme produces uh, order of 5 as expected and here are the plots for uh, I mean, here is the plot for the order of accuracy. Well here I am plotting just the L1 uh, order but uh, the other ones that is L2 and L infinity they should also look very similar to the one which is shown here. Okay, so with that uh, we can kind of be sure that the implementation of the various schemes is alright but to be certain, well we cannot be 100% sure that there is no mistake at all that there, there could be a, some hidden bug somewhere but given this we can be kind of sure that our implementation is alright. So this is going to be the last video in this series which was uh, the series which was on uh, two-dimensional advection equation and implementation of it on a 2D Cartesian mesh. 
so the next series is going to be on system of partial differential equations which are coupled and that's going to be more interesting and more close to the physical world so i'll see you in the next series and thanks for watching until next time bye bye